I'm John Harros and welcome to another episode of my franchise zoo. As you can see we have a new intro and some music behind the video. Uh, let me know if you like it, I can always change it back if you don't like it. So for the first part I will fill uh, all exhibits with uh, the exhibit animals, but I will cut that out. I do have the time lapse, but it's really boring to see. So at this point they're already in. All temperatures are set and all enrichment items are in. So we can continue with the rest of the video. Today I'm gonna build a doll sheep habitat. But because this zoo is going to have a big tropical center, I'm not gonna build an arctic style uh, habitat for them. So I went with, an, uh, yeah, with a, a farm style uh, habitat for the sheep. So I'm gonna put down the staff building first, so I can uh, create the staff building and uh, make a farm looking building out of that. I went for vertical wooden uh, planks for this building because it's uh, really close to the main entrance and that also have the vertical wooden planks. Uh, I'm thinking about changing both to the Australian wood, so let me know your opinion about that. We might do it later. If I end up uh, changing the wood structure, these uh, wooden beams also gonna change to the variant I use with uh, the Australian wood, so the lighter variant. But for now I'm using these ones because they really look good on the darker wood. I went with the logs uh, for the sunshade. I really wish they had more bark on them, but yeah, they still look good, so. I'm struggling to make the corner here, but I think it turned out okay. And uh, yeah, you don't see, you don't bother that much that it's not gonna be a perfectly straight edge. At least I don't. So I hope you don't either. So at this point I uh, decide to uh, just add trim to a height that the roof isn't perfectly uh, straight.
the windows don't look right to me so I'm gonna add trim although I'm gonna change the windows at a later point completely so don't worry they're not gonna stay This is the point where I'm uh, deciding what to do. Because I'm building without plans, because I'm such a bad planner, I always just look at the build and see where it takes me. I am building a uh, support structure for the roof here, but that is going to be uh, covered up by a haystack uh, at a later point completely, so it's still there, but you cannot see it. I am copying a part of the roof over uh, to another part, uh, so I can make a barn out of it for the sheep.
So this is how the outside of the barn turned out. I didn't like the uh, pillars in the middle so I removed those. And here I started testing out some decorations on it but it didn't look right to me so I deleted it all again. Here you're gonna see me having some uh, fun with the potting. I'm always struggling uh, with it, how, uh, how it uh, looks the best and most natural. Uh, I decided to just with a simple uh, one viewing area with uh, multiple rows to it. For the design of the fence I just took, uh, chose to use a simple fence and add an Australian plank for it. So after test building uh, part of my uh, fence, I uh, decide to uh, finish the habitat first with the null gates, put the sheep in and uh, test if the fence is high enough for the sheep, which it is, so I can use it uh, all around and see me do that when I finish the null gates. There weren't any good uh, sheep on the market, so I only put one in for now. And at this point I had a crash in my recordings uh, and uh, me finishing the fence is uh, not recorded. Uh, so at this point the fence is done and I'm uh, working on an uh, animal feeder for the sheep. The new rusted pieces are really great for this. Of course I'm gonna put it at the good height of the sheep so they can uh, reach it. And I'm filling it with a piece of thatch so it looks like there's hay inside the feeder. I'm adding some doors here so it looks like the keepers can come in. Of course they can walk through the walls of the barn, but it looks like they can come in now.
I'm gonna do an uh, attempt here to make some uh, concrete looking, uh, yeah, what is it, uh, piece to walk over from them that you see in farms, uh, but most of that is for goats and not for sheep, so I can't do too much of it because the sheep don't really like it. Because I don't have a lot of options with the text for the hay looking uh, piece, uh, I'm testing uh, how it looks. So for the roof of the farm I will also use a wooden roof because I saw a picture of an actual farm like this with a haystack that had a wooden roof. So I hope you like the solution. I think the hay look uh, is okay. It looks plausible that it could be uh, full of hay. So yeah, I'm going with it. And I'm adding some more roof pieces uh, to uh, make it look like the hay is flowing out. And I'm adding some more here on the sides to uh, hide the edge. And some more trim to hide the edge of the patch that's sticking out. And here I'm go uh, gonna make a simple ladder. The image I had had a wooden ladder, but the pieces are too big, so I went with an uh, iron rod uh, ladder instead.
And here I'm adding some of the Australian planks to blend in some of the same style. Here I decide to have a small roof after all, but the solar uh, panel keeps accessible to the sky. So after looking at some photos, I'm uh, making a birdhouse to put uh, inside of the sheep habitat. Here I'm gonna add a nice pond for the sheep, even though they don't need it. I still think it's a uh, good option for the water to have a natural way instead of only the drinking fountain. So I'm gonna place some rocks around the edges and in the other spots at the terrain too to make it look nice and natural. And of course some terrain painting, some dirt instead of grass in the areas where the sheep walk a lot. And I'm adding some enrichment items that I will hide away with trees. And I will put some as, uh, smaller variants of the same tree in so it looks uh, like it belongs there. And then it's time to do some foliage clusters around the trees and the rocks.
and here I'm making the uh, sleeping area of the sheep. I'm also using a picture for that, but I went far off from it and only used a small part of the picture because I don't have enough room in my barn, because the picture also had chickens and other animals in it. Here I'm adding um, some of the enrichment items so they move around at the areas I want them to. And I'm also adding a lot of coolers because of the doll sheep uh, likes it at 16 degrees Celsius maximum. So the temperature is now okay for the doll sheep. And I'm also adding some trees at the back of the habitat to make it look fuller. And I forgot to check if the sheep can reach the sleeping area, which they couldn't, so I'm adjusting that here. And I'm not sure if the sheep can use it, but I'm adding some more uh, yeah, logs for climbing for the sheep. And because there are not uh, small arch uh, windows in the game, I'm changing them up for some smaller windows to make it look less odd and more like a farm.
and as final touch, a base tag with a pitchfork in it. So this is what we have for this episode, I'm gonna continue on it uh, next episode, I do some benches and of course the information board, but this is it for now, so thanks for watching, goodbye.